In this video, we're going to take a look at the browser in Studio One 3.0. The new browser in Studio One 3.0 has a very intuitive user interface and workflow. All of the pages and tabs are consolidated and organized at the top right of the screen, as you can see here in the browser. We have a Loops tab, which we can click on in order to see all of the factory loops in one place. You'll see all of the available options categorized below. Jazz, Rock, Blues, etc. We have the ability to search according to instrument, style, character, type of file, product, which shows the various loop packs we have installed, and vendor. You'll see that we permanently have three assignable tabs in the sort by column, and we can click on the tabs in order to change what we see. Once we select an audio loop or audio file, the controls along the bottom of the browser allow us to audition the selected file via the play button. The original tempo of the loops are included in the file name, and we have a diagonal arrow button which is used to sync or desynchronize playback at the tempo of our current song. So we can hear how it will work in the context of any project we have open. Disabling this option will play the selected loop back at the originally recorded tempo. So this is a very fast and convenient way to audition loops alongside the rest of the tracks on our project in a musical way. And finding the right loop or sound is just a few clicks away in Studio One 3.0. Part of the loops and home tabs is a musical search for content. All loop content is tagged with musical keywords for convenient searching and browsing, which we access with the tags icon to the immediate right of the search for field. As you can see, style, instrument, and character tags are present and color-coded so that we can click on any one or several of the tags in order to narrow our search results according to the relevant data. As we add tags, let's say we're looking for a rock, guitar, distorted loop, the terms aggregate in the search for field. By clicking on the X in each tag, we can remove any or all of the tags to expand the search results. So if we want to just see rock guitar files, we can easily remove distorted from the results in this example. And you can see that I have 315 audio file options installed on my system. Keyword searching indexes loops, instrument presets, and effects presets for both core library content included with Studio One 3.0 and content purchased and downloaded from the Presonus shop. We can access the Presonus shop directly from the browser via the new Cloud tab. Studio One Artist users can use the Cloud tab, which integrates the Presonus shop with Studio One Artist, where users will be able to purchase and unlock additional features as an alternative to upgrading to Studio One 3 Professional. We have access to various add-ons, upgrades, and cross-grades, which will continue to grow over time. The Cloud tab consolidates all web content locations accessible from inside Studio One, SoundCloud, Personas Exchange, which is a user platform for free content sharing, and the Personas Shop, which offers direct access to a growing number of Studio One add-ons available for purchase. Inside the Personas Exchange, we have extensions, effects chains, macros, presets, sound sets, and more, which we can instantly access. And if you program a lot of MIDI instruments like I do, having pitch names for various virtual instruments and drum kits to download will make life a lot easier. The Personas shop content will include loops, sounds, plugins, and even new features that can be installed or unlocked directly from within the browser. Taking a look at the SoundCloud browser integration, using drag and drop, we can instantly upload any files to SoundCloud directly from the Studio One 3.0 browser. If we want to download a track from SoundCloud, we can simply select it and click download also from within the browser. Sharing your music with the world has never been easier. As you can see, Studio One 3.0 is an ergonomic and feature-rich creative DAW with intuitive functionality and room for growth, so you can spend more time creating and less time searching. We'll see you in the next video.